What is mobility? Freedom in motion, freedom from pain, from stress, from malnutrition, freedom from movement, of choice, of expression, freedom to improvise, to compartmentalize, to generate energy, to recover, freedom through strength, through discipline, a fundamental human need. Join me. Hey team, welcome to another workout with me. Today I'm gonna to take you through body weight triceps. That's three exercises back to back, focusing on time under tension, range, and form. We're gonna start with a warm up, then activate our core, and then move right into those exercises, okay? So when you're ready, let's hit the floor. Come on down to a four point, and then we're gonna work our way into a deep lunge, okay? So, hands inside of your foot, Open up into that deep lunge, open your chest, and then take your hand that's closest to your foot and extend open into a twist, squeezing the shoulder blades together as much as you can. Slowly come back down. And then we're gonna go the other way as well. All right, so extend the other arm, nice and tall. Rotating through that spine, come all the way back down. Come back to your four point, and let's try that on the other side. When you're ready, take a breath, and hand that's closest goes first as you extend into your twist, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Slowly come back, and let's try the same side. Slowly come back down, and when you're ready, have a seat on your bum, and then roll down onto your back. I would just floss those sciatic nerves. So lace your fingers behind your leg, take a breath and extend your leg nice and long, flex the toes, point them again, and then rock back down. We'll do two more nice and slowly, breathing in and relax back down. Take a breath, extend the knee, pull the leg as close as you can to feel the stretch, flex the toes to feel the nerves, and relax. All right, when you're ready, let's try the other side. Lace your fingers behind your leg, take a breath and extend, flex, and slowly come back down. Two more, extend the knee, find the stretch, find the nerve, and then slowly come all the way back down. Last one, breathing in, flex, and relax. Well done. Take your legs to 90 degrees. Cross your hands over your knees and let's activate our core with some dead bugs. All right, so take a breath and extend your opposite arm and leg away from each other. Bracing your opposite knee and hand together as much as you can. Exhale to return. Breathe in to extend. Don't forget to imprint your lower spine as you work through this to feel your core activate through all the layers, right from deep to superficial. Last one, breathe in, exhale back. Well done, switch your legs, switch your hands, and where we go again, breathe in, exhale back, and again. Think about pulling your opposite rib and hip together as you close and imprinting that lower spine. Last one, breathe in, exhale, well done. Give yourself a wee cuddle, and then let's get up on our feet again and start. We're gonna start today with our split squat, all right? But we're gonna add a little quarter rep at the bottom of this rep. All right, so when you're ready, spread your legs, open out nice and wide, make sure your legs are on train tracks, not a tight rope, so you're not falling over. And then when you're ready, slowly come all the way down, getting that knee past your toe, lift up a little, drop down a little, and then press back up again. All right, we're gonna go through six of these, all right? So taking our time through range, lift up, drop down, and lift back up again. All right, make sure you're working on that diagonal plane so you're getting your knee past your toe, you're lifting your chest, lift, lower, and press. Halfway, down you go. Lift up a little, drop down, and press. You should be feeling this in your front leg quite a lot. Lift, but you should be also feeling that stretch through your back leg as well. Way you go down, lift, lower, and press. Last one, down. Lift, lower, and press. Well done, all right? Switch your leg over, nice and slow. Make sure you lift your back heel, tuck your pelvis, and down we go again. Lift up a little, drop back down, and press. One, down, up, down, and press. Again, just focus on that diagonal plane, getting your knee past your toe, working on full range of motion. Just two to go. When you're ready, take a breath and use your exhale to explode out your front leg. Last one, up, down, and press. Well done, team. Okay, come on back down to four points. 
and I get us to do some press-ups. Ah, I know, surprising. All right, so when you're ready, take one of your leg, extend it long, take it nice and wide, elbows, are tucked in a little bit, but they're not tricep, more of a chest focused one, all right? So take your leg, switch it over, and try the other side. Press and lift, down and up. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades together and spreading the floor with your palms. So you can really feel this press right in your chest and not in your neck and not anywhere else. Down you go. Let's go two more. Extend, press, lift. Last one, extend, press and lift. Well done. All right, our last exercise for this tricep is a good morning squat. So. When you're ready, lace your fingers behind your head. Take your elbows nice and wide, soften your knees, hinge through your hips into your good morning. Then drop down into your squat, keeping your spine super straight and spread the floor and lift. All right, when you're ready, let's go again. Hinge, sit and press and hinge. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings, drop down and lift. Down you go, soften and hinge into your squat, and then press your knees out to lift. And again, down, hinge, extend, and again. We've got four more in your own time, team. Take it slow and steady so your muscles feel everything that we're working through. Last two. And up, last one. And extend. Well done. All right, shake your legs out, give yourself a bit of a rest. And from here, we're gonna move into our next tricep, okay? We're gonna to start today with a single leg RDL into a knee drive. Okay, you can start with your hands out, you can hold onto a wall for support if you'd like to, if this is your first time doing anything like this. Or if you're extra for experts, you can lace your hands behind your head. All right, so bend your knee into 90 degrees, soften your lower knee, and then hinge down so that your chest is parallel with the floor. Feel that in your glute as it stabilizes and then knee drives up to 90 degrees. Are you ready? Let's go again. Soften and hinge for three, two, one. And then lift back up. Proud chest, nice straight spine. And slowly hinging back. Make sure you're really feeling your foot press into the floor. As you lift, soften down. There's four. Knee drives. And we've got two more. Soften and hinge down. Nice and parallel. And then lift back up. Last one. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Make sure you're really getting into that glute. And lift. Well done. All right, let's try that on the other side. When you're ready, plant your other foot down. Make sure you screw your foot into the floor. Lace your hands if you want to, or out to the side. Totally your option. Bend your knee into 90 degrees. Soften your front knee, and then slowly hinge. Try to get your chest your glute and your knee parallel with the ground. And then lift up nice and tall. When you're ready, let's go again. And lift. And three, soften and hinge. Think about driving your back heel up to the ceiling as much as you can. So you keep those hips nice and level. And you're not twisting and cheating. We don't want that. Go right, two more. And lift. Last one, soften, hinge, and lift. Well done, all right, come back down to four point. And we're gonna take our hip through a full range, trying to keep our body as still as possible. All right, so we're doing a hip circle, and then we're gonna go into a tricep push up. So when you're ready, take your leg, steady it, and then pull it out to the side as much as you can. Feel your glute activate, then slowly start to rotate right around the hip joint without getting into your lower back. Pull your knee in as much as you can. Extend it back. Slowly come all the way back around. Lift the heel up to the ceiling and then press your chest down to the floor and lift back up. All right, let's try that on the other side. When you're ready, slowly lift it out to the side first. Extend all the way around. Try and keep those hips level. Bring your knee in and then let's try that again. Imagine you're squeezing something in between your knee, your hamstring, and your calf muscle. Press and lift. Let's do three more each side. All right, when you're ready, 
knee comes out to the side, take that hip through full range of motion. You should feel your glutes screaming to try and keep your hip steady. Hip goes up, rotate it back around, heel lifts up to the ceiling, tricep push up, other side. Focus and concentrate on moving steadily so you're not cheating, contracting different muscles to take your hip through full range of motion. Lift up, press, away you go, out. And you pop, rotate it back the other way. Lift that heel up, nice and tall, tricep, and again. Such a concentrated small movement should be burning your entire hip capsule by now. <sighs> Lift. And one more each side. All right, when you're ready, lift high. Lift the heel up. Try set press. Try and take your chest all the way down to the floor. Last one. And extend. Well done. Lift that heel high. Try set press. Good job. All right, and our last exercise for this set is our mountain climbers, all right? But we're gonna do four and then press to a three-legged dog. So when you're ready, knee comes in. One, two, three, four, push up. And reset. One, two, three, four, and push. Good job, team. All right, let's try again. One, two, three, four, and press. Whoop. And again, one. Beautiful. All right, let's try two more each side. And again. <laughs> Last one each side. Really enjoy that stretch at the end. Well done. All right, hinge down into a child's pose. Sit back onto your mat. Take a breath. And exhale. Well done. All right, let's roll up into a cool down, okay? So when you're ready, take your knees nice and wide, open up into a frog. Make sure your ankles are right behind your knees, elbows down on the floor. Pull your shoulder blades back and just relax into this position for the last minute or two, okay? Take your deep breaths, try and really calm down that nervous system. Rock back and forth over the midline, just about an inch each way, right? So you can really feel the groin open up and we're creating space for our entire hip muscle. Right, take your last big breath in, rocking over your elbows as much as you can. And as you exhale, sit your hips back towards your heels for three, two, and one. Toes together, knees a little closer, hinge backwards, take a breath. And lift yourself up. Well done, team. All right, that's us for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next workout. I was born to move. A movement of flow that allows me to escape. From 12 years of age, competing internationally for New Zealand in rhythmic gymnastics. At 20, I lost my mother to cancer but movement carried me through to compete at the Commonwealth Games a few weeks later. It was my escape. My calling is to explore different modalities of fitness through yoga and functional strength training. I bring this to you to help you explore your body's boundaries and open the door to what it can give your personal well-being. Because at the end of the day, we were all born to move.